That's Yaskier. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been the most beautiful. He doesn't like you, Yennefer. <laughs> Ooh, bacon. Greetings, Tasty Morsels. It's Reverse BLT here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm about to watch The Witcher Season 2, Episode 4, which is entitled Redanian Intelligence. I don't think I know anything about Redania um, from the books, so this will be interesting for me. Uh, before I get started, I just wanted to say, uh, let you guys all know that I finally have started a Patreon. It is just, you know, pay what you want if you want to pay anything uh, to help sort of, you know, keep, I uh, would say, keep the lights on, <laughs> uh, which is pretty much what it's for. It's just to enable me to have a little more flexibility to produce these videos uh, because obviously, you know, shooting videos and editing videos is time that I'm not doing something else to make money. So, uh, you know, it's a trade-off. So if you guys can support the channel that way and you feel like doing so, head on over to uh, patreon.com slash reverseblt and uh, pledge whatever you want. It's just that simple. I would like to give a special shout out to Daedric Song, who is my first Patreon. I really appreciate it. All the way from Sweden, I believe. Uh, which is amazing. I didn't even know I had anybody watching these videos in Sweden. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Daedric Song. Also, great uh, screen name. I have not played those games yet, but that is one of the franchises where I found myself just sort of a little intrigued by the lore. The Daedric Princes are very interesting uh, as a concept. Uh, I don't know huge amounts about it yet, but I have looked into it a little bit and I just found that very interesting. So, very cool name, and also thank you again very much for pledging your support, I really appreciate it. I'm very curious to see where this is going, I want to know what the hell Baba Yaga is up to, <laughs> what is her end game? I want to know whether this alliance between the Nilfgaardians and the Elves will bear any good fruit, because I still don't know what Nilfgaard's up to, what the White Flame is up to, any of this stuff, just a lot of questions up in the air. And what the hell is Jennifer doing? Fear. The failure. Free climbing with no gloves in that cold. The itself. I don't see how a normal human can handle that. I mean, Geralt's a witcher, and obviously he can handle you. it, but Siri should be getting frostbite. <laughs> in the darkness. Shouldn't they have weapons on them? You never know what the hell's out here, you know? Oh, okay, good. Way to go, Siri. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Petrus? It's good to see you again. They're eating well Thank today. You. Look at Siri getting kind of jealous. I see you over there, Siri. You could have used you. Hopefully we still can. She probably could have saved uh, to get to it. Eskel. I'll go and dress for dinner. I assume you'll all want to wash up. Or at least well? help contain him so that they could uh, save him. Of course not. So Geralt's so, not unique in being how stinky. Do you know each other? Settle down, Siri. Got a bunch of crows. Am I watching another episode of Arcane? What the heck? Uh, shut up and get over here. Fucking racist assholes. I, I need to relieve myself. We'll reach a destination by sundown. Where are you taking me? Shut up! Fucking concentration camps. Don't wait. Could I be escorted to an alley? You can restrain me. Yeah, well, if it can't wait, it can't wait, can it? Thank you, sir. Go on then. Believe yourself. I mean, personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with relieving yourself in public, but... The elf skull. Fucking asshole, man. Man, look at the fucking painting on the back. Come on, then. Move, you pointies. 
The wings. We can reminisce and share fond memories of Sodden. You'll be entering with the Commander General, don't make new memories. They already are. Does every already show are. have people having conversations that should be oh, private in public? Proclaimed as Zintria, under Fringilla's leadership. Fringilla? It's funny how quickly people forget about you when you're no longer of use to them, isn't it? Oh, that's pretty cool. So they were magic crows. Oh, oh shit. The Brotherhood's looking for you. I bet you pull your cloaks in a little tighter. Cover them faces. We're not safe here. We're dying. We're not we. we only want to serve Redania as best we can. Hmm. I was just about to say, who, who the hell sent that out? I mean, if it is poison, why are you just gonna drink it? I would have fought. I mean, you're caught anyway, right? Apologies for the theatrics, Your Highness, but I just had to be sure. What's the deal with the owl? Leave it with us. So is he part of the Brotherhood, or what? Is this a character I don't know? Definitely. Would you let me show you around the keep? keep I have been there before. This place pretty well. When Garrow told me what Trace had done for him, I invited her here. I brought her here for you. To help guide you. Like how Mousak did for my mother? Just like Mousak. Maybe even more. I mean, you have the power within you to become a sorcerer. Now it's time for bed. So how do you two know each other? <laughs> You're starting to feel a little something for uh, that part of your heritage, Jennifer. You two thought you could get away. <laughs> I nice. had that covered. Of course you did. <laughs> Put your oh, hoods yeah. back up, dummies. You're not out of the woods. It's a good we path to take. Not very many people Make would want to go down there. And lose your head. Run like hell. Oh, Dooney. You don't For want real? To hurt me. To mean. Was it? Oh, I mean, not. Why did I say Dooney? Dooney was a uh, series father. No Did she understand them? Hide, you trusting idiot. If there's no room, we'll catch the next boat. I promise. I really hope you're telling the truth, Jennifer. I know you'll do like literally anything to survive, <laughs> but please don't fuck over these people. Trust is so hard to come by, and it's easy to All lose. Right, come on. Oh, huh. Got a crush, huh? Oh, you understand him? I didn't know Yennefer spoke sign language. Well, whatever their type of sign language is. It appears you have some use after all. Thankfully, men remain simple. <laughs> Who's in the shadows? This camera angle is weird. What the hell? What the hell is that? How did they not hear that? She seems to have visions of things that have yet to come to pass. Like what? She saw me at the aftermath of Sodden Hill. No one should have to gaze upon that carnage. Oh, Tr Triss, tell him, tell him, she knows. Could a mage have made this? Theoretically, but generating monsters has been outlawed for centuries. Oh, outlawed. So definitely not a mage then. There is one True. way to find out. 
Making something illegal doesn't mean people won't do it. Man. Which, of course, is not the reason why we make things illegal. We make things illegal so that we can have a justification to punish people when they violate the law. Then Benza Shine Gay Thing. CSI Magic Unit. Axel Raby. Dagobah. Stop. Of course, you're gonna to draw this out so that he doesn't find out that Yen's still alive. They can live on in our memories. Oh, but she doesn't actually know that with me tonight. Yennefer was important I'm to Gerald. I just thought about that. Let's not be alone. Because Yennefer didn't tell her. I'm sorry. Tris was trying to get it in. It's a fairy tale. We don't have the fight left anymore to start anew. The North have made sure of that. Yeah, I know. Fuck the North. Oh, uh, please don't let this poor kid get eaten by this monster that's in here. Talking about how he's gonna start a new life and shit. Don't be evil. Come on, show. Don't be evil. I'll bore you. But look at the framing of this shot. I knew it. Sons of bitches! Oh, come on, dude! Now she's gonna have no choice but to call on the help of uh, Baba Yaga to get her magic back. Because how else is she gonna survive? Here? Did it seem like it hurt him when he touched the fire to that thing? That was weird. You, you find power and he touched your ash in your hand! Oh, yeah. She was incredible that day, Sodan. The fire. What's this then? <laughs> okay, here, you got a crush, That's buddy? what did you in, isn't it? To your pal. <laughs> we all have our time in the sun. You left your friend to die in a fucking sewer. You ran. I, I, I took the only option I had. He would have done the same. I, he would have tried to save, save you, I bet. You're not worth it. That's the one. He performs here every night. That's Yaskier. He doesn't like you, Yennefer. <laughs> I never thought I'd see her this happy to hear Yaskier, though. It's fun watching him evolve over the decades that they've known him. So what is he, like, 50, 60 now? Something like that? I think it's really cool that he has decided to try to help the elves. Watch me burn all the memory. It's like they're channeling Prince a little bit with this outfit. It's really cool. It's like a Renaissance era Prince. I got to think of it, Prince was already kind of a Renaissance era with his outfits. <laughs> I dig it. It's pretty cool. No, no, no. Talking to that bird, dude. Religious zeal. Good point. Holy men are always the most depraved. <laughs> no one knows his proclivities. No one knows anything about him. Who he is, what he is, where he is. Who are you talking to, buddy? Was. Nothing, he just pretends to fucking sense. <laughs> now that is an out of the box idea. Getting an elf into Sintra won't be a problem. It's more malleable. Distrustful in all the right ways. You follow me. So he is still alive. Why well, can't I think of his name though? Dang it. I knew he would come back into the story, but I was. Uh, 
disappointed to see he's apparently coming back as a uh, morning, double agent of some kind. You look lovely in the but then again, I have no reason to believe Trace. that this white flame is a good guy. When do you guy, think we so. can get started? Today. I was hoping you'd come and help me in the lab. Good morning, <laughs> your highness. <laughs> Please tell me you lost a bet. Is that a flower in your hair, girl? <laughs> Are you serious? You're... You're... <laughs> You're hygiene shaming her? You're making her feel bad for washing up and oh, looking she pretty? Actually, she's more, she's <laughs> so fuck, guys. What happened? It's just a bit of fun. For who? Yeah, that was really her in rags. Keep her bruised as an apple. Does she even have a chemise? Or soap? Wait, is that oh, how you say that? When she gets her blood. I just thought it was so shandy. those mushrooms you're feeding her, you're ruthlessly deprived of that before too long. You say you're mutants. That's why you don't understand what people feel. But the truth is, you're choosing to be ignorant assholes, aren't you? Tris, you're being bullies. You need to stop being bullies. Bullying is not cool, guys. There's a, there's a fine line you walk between busting someone's chops and just bullying. There's something strange. Still last night. I've never seen Ah, it. remember that? Don't you, Siri? Like that one that responded it's to you screaming came out of the ground. That's cool. Is the world itself that's creating these things? More Stella oh, no. Like Gaia. Maybe they're going to bring Gaia into this. Up with the same dust on them. Plot twist. The monolith from the 2001 series is actually the one you know about. <laughs> behind everything. <laughs> Daughter of chaos belongs to us. Turn your backs. Join the procession. There is no death here. Siri. Oh, is that Baba Yaga talking to her? What inspired you to touch that stuff, Siri? <laughs> Daughter of chaos. So she really is an actual god, then, basically. I doubled it. And I'm assuming the monoliths are unbreakable. I don't know. These monsters are my fault. It's all right. I'll fix it. Oh, how? <laughs> you are a blood-sucking, joyless hugger. <laughs> hugging. We are. That's hugging. new. I miss the days when my biggest problem was never present sing soggy twit. That song could be about anyone. Mm. Yeah, anyone. sure. Anyone. Okay, Taylor. Anyone. Fine. Yes, when I wrote it. It did come from the heart. Perhaps a broken one. That's a shame. We're better off without him. Tell me why the hell your sad ass is here. For the sandpiper. What? No. Yes. No. <laughs> How do you know that name? <laughs> yes, you're straight. You pick up a thing or two and you're in hiding. You're in hiding? You haven't seen the leaflets? your part, Elf Yennefer. I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. I'm wondering if they I kind of that fate on my worst made her ears yes, just you are a tiny bit pointy. Firmly lodged in that category, it has to be said, but <laughs> what they've done to you and your people is unspeakable. But are you two going to be friends? Speaking. I want you to become friends. There are anonymous benefactors working behind the scenes, helping me, helping us, helping us. Make He's got a little work. underground railroad kind of thing going on. What's in it for you? That's wrong, Yennefer. He doesn't. I was at the great. He's not that way. When it was raided, they come for the elves, Yennefer. I'll come for the dwarves. And sooner or later, they will come for every anyone that they deem the other. Oh, Eventually, pieces, fucking pieces of shit. No artist is safe. Plenty of time to take a bath before then. Just saying. Love the running joke about people smelling terrible and needing baths. It's like, it's just... <laughs> Go and replenish your elixirs. Great little gag. I can't be what you want, Triss. What you deserve. If things it's... are different. Come on, say it. I'm still hung up on Yennefer, so she can say... Yennefer's alive! Last night, your pain. It excited me. That's weird. Because I finally felt something again. You are important to me, Triss. You always will be. You're going to Sintra. <laughs> All past conversion. 
Then Samir, you I going with? He had us died of old age, lying in bed, dictating his will, that's the man. I have a girl to protect. He must be the mage. I know who I am. Who the fuck are you? Why didn't Triss come with introductions, for crying out loud? A group of elves from Dretigor is on board already. Unless the ship is full. Well, then you're swimming. Come on. Uh, what horrible shit's about to happen? I'll go first. Oh, you wouldn't you happen to be. You're scared of bad. Guilty. Oh. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> but, you know. Don't worry about the papers. Oh. Thanks for the tunes. Although, if you don't mind me saying so, that one, it's, uh... It's not your strongest. <laughs> Don't get into an oh, argument, yeah. Yaskier. Don't get into it's an argument. It took me to the fourth verse to understand there were different timelines. Oh, wow. <laughs> that magic kiss. Meta That's commentary yeah. on the show. I spotted the dragon reveal. On That's my hilarious. Way. Oh, you're clever. You're a clever That's one. That's hilarious. I say the, uh, the bit when the loop player ends up with the warrior ladies. Lovable, lovable lutinists. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really ring true for me, I must say. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, but, I love it when a show gets metal like it? that. Yeah, no, don't true. do it, Yaskier. You know, if you could write yourself a little song, you could sing yourself whatever you please. Mm. Yeah. A... <laughs> Scapegrace, a crawling, <laughs> feculence, a beef uh, hell-hated, Oh, adult, man, look at those varsity folk hat insults. No, we need to get him away from the rats. None of us will Yeah, all right, right old dude. So. Fucking redeem yourself for your cowardice early. Just maybe you are grateful to be entertained. Fuck the north. Come again. I don't want to see the old man get beaten to death, though. Fuck the north. No, oh my god, that's the weakest punch I've ever fucking seen out of a grown man. Fuck the elves. <laughs> And that punch was telegraphed from a mile away. It would have been easy to dodge that. We need to go. Yeah. That's a shame. Too bad these elves aren't like most fantasy story elves where every last one of them has magic. Oh, Eskel's body. Picked clean by the wolves. What an odd burial ceremony. Now what? So something's blood. So did the blood make those flowers grow, or was something that was bleeding According to Garu, interested in those flowers? No one knows the continent's vegetation better than you. Tell me I'm not crazy. Tell me what I'm looking at here. So you are. Hmm? This only grows where elder blood has been spilled. Destiny has given us a gift. The key to making more witches. Siri. Yeah, but should you? Did they need to use those flowers? Does that mean they need to like bleed her out in order to make the stuff they need to make more witches? So that'd be fucked up. And if Vesemir even considers that, then I'm going to hate him. We... All of us would be dead without you. Oh. Who the hell's this I'm kid? Dara. Dara, there we go. I knew it began with a D. Dara. I expect you to do great things, all right? Come on, give her another vote for old time's sake. What? What happened to you? Chaos. Supposed to be done with me. You know, once upon a time, I would have used this opportunity to call you an empty, lonely, power-hungry she-demon, but... I'm you an artist. Just did. Yeah. I'm scared too. Because who are we? When we can no longer do the one thing we were put on this continent to do. We find a new purpose. Damn yeah, right. I'm glad to hear you say that, yeah. The better one. Finally. Chaos could never be done with the likes of you. Yennefer, I'll sing a bird of that much. I am certain of it. So if it's all the same to you, goodbye. Good luck. Good riddance. <laughs> uh, Thank you. You got 
guys like each other. You know you do. In some weird sort of way. What the hell? You better not have just killed Yaskier. Is that the loot that Phil Evangel gave them all ourselves. these years ago? He's been carrying that around all this time, and now it just got destroyed. You better not be. <laughs> what is it with shows choosing like the absolute worst places to end an episode? <laughs> when I say that, by the way, guys, I don't actually mean that it's a bad ending. I just mean it's frustrating because I want more. You know. Oh, even the, the lyrics of this song are even trying to make me think they just killed Yaskier. They better not have just killed Yaskier. I'd be really pissed off, genuinely pissed off if Yaskier just died. Another great episode, of course. Uh, I find it weird, this strange sort of budding thing that's going on between Kay here and Yennefer. <laughs> I mean, it seems fairly one-sided at this point, you know, but, like, I didn't expect Kay here to have, like, a weird infatuation with Yennefer. Like, he saw her power and I guess sort of fell in love. Yeah, but that's kind of a running theme, isn't it? Though, because, like, um, you know, at least with Yennefer, Yennefer pointed it out with Ishtar, that, like, she, you know, she was telling him how she kept having all these people who acted like they were interested in her, but they were really only interested in her position, her influence. But Istrit saw her power, and that was what she really liked about him. And now it looks like Kagir sees her power, so I wonder if she's gonna kind of have a weird thing with him. Uh, interesting though, uh, I don't know what just happened though at the end of this episode. It, it definitely sounds like, you know, uh, Yaskir got beaten up by somebody at the very least. I'm hoping that it's just something as simple as maybe that guard saw him come off the ship and decided, you know what, I didn't get to punch that bard like I wanted to. So I'm gonna give him one real quick right now. Or if it was someone else who had a grudge against him for some weird reason. I mean, after all, Yaskier has <laughs> has left a long line of cuckolds behind him who all want a piece of him, so it could be something as simple as that. Uh, and so I guess the next episode is probably just going to pick up with figuring out what the hell just happened. Um, it's interesting that, so all, when they talk about elder blood, I had always assumed that elder blood was was elven blood. So I was always I was a little confused when they were talking about how like you know, like like when we go all the way back to when Ishtar said you know flowers these flowers bloom wherever elven blood has been spilled. I didn't even think that was a really significant thing because I was like oh they're just talking about elves right. Um, and I was like, there are plenty of elves all over the place, so this isn't a rare occurrence. I don't know why he's talking about it, like, like it's something amazing. Uh, but now, of course, it makes it very clear that we're talking about something entirely different. When they say Elder Blood, then are they talking about a completely different race of beings? Like, gods of some kind? I mean, I assume series of god anyway, because they said, you know, that, even that weird vision, the voice said Child of Chaos, and so I'm assuming that basically is like, um, any Stephen King fans out there? Captain, I'm picking up a bogey coming in on a five o'clock tangent. This is what actually really makes me think of. The Elders of the Brim. So, like, in Stephen King's cosmology, going across all of his books, there's this idea that there was this primordial chaos that he called the Brim, right? And it was like, sort of like a formless, shapeless mist kind of thing and that it basically gave rise to all the ancient gods and the superpower beings, you know, they all basically derived from it in some way. And uh, it's making me, I'm getting major vibes like that, so maybe like chaos is essentially like the Prim, and the elders are like these first beings that were spawned from the mist of the Prim as it was started to recede from reality as, as things started to become created, you know? I have no idea. Uh, my prevailing theory is still that Siri exists in some form to either cause a new conjunction of the spheres or to undo the conjunction of the spheres so that everything goes back to its proper place. Um, but I don't know. It could be something entirely different. 
I don't know what the hell the monoliths are. They're some sort of material that looks a lot like uh, volcanic glass, um, you know. But it seems like, uh, like judging by Geralt Shockman, the series that she broke one by screaming, it seems that they're unbreakable in general. And I don't know where they come from. I don't know if they rise from deep within the world that they're on or if they're just sort of formed from chaos and just sit there. I don't know what the hell happens. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely curious to find out what is going on there. I also want to know what the deal is with, I'm assuming, a council mage who's assigned to the king of Redania. What is this deal? Like, who's he talking to? Is the owl talking to him? Is the owl allowing him to communicate with the council? Is he doing some sort of weird telepathy thing where he's talking to a bunch of people in the council and maybe the, the owl is like a recording device? I mean, I really need to know what the hell's going on there. And uh, what he is going to use Dara for. And how he's using Dara. Like, is, is Dara a willing agent of his or... Is he being sort of mind control? Is it something similar to the owl where someone appears anyway to be looking through it? Um, and how's this going to go down with, you know, the white flame or maybe a mage local like the elf mage sort of recognizes what's going on? Because I would assume that if it's being done with magic, that someone with magic could possibly sense it. But I don't know. Uh, it's a shame that that poor kid with all the dreams and everything had to die uh, early in the episode. That I mean, I saw it coming, so I was able to kind of steal myself for it, I think. But it still made me really sad. And as much as the older man, older elf who abandoned him pissed me off for doing that, I, I'm still sad that he had to, you know, trade his life to gain sort of a redemption for doing that. I mean, I didn't want to see him die. I, I was hoping that maybe he would just distract those guys and we lead them away somehow or something and double back and have earned his ticket to hopefully a better life. But who's to even say it's a better life? I mean, the, sh the stuff going on in Central right now might turn to ash in a moment. So, I don't know. Uh, definitely a lot to think about. Oh, <laughs> it was funny seeing how they played a version of a pronoun game essentially with Triss and Geralt to keep Geralt still from finding out that Yennefer is alive. <laughs> uh, so he now is in Sentra, Yennefer's heading towards Sentra um, with Kahir who appears to have developed a crush on Yennefer. And so we're gonna have three people in Sentra who all kind of have a thing for Yennefer or had a thing for Yennefer and then Yennefer, and one of them doesn't even know she's still alive. That's going to be fucking fascinating. Also, The Wish continues to play its uh, game, I guess, because once again, Yennefer and Geralt are going to be brought together, whether they really intended to be or not. And that's gonna be interesting. I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to just getting more answers and finding out more about what ultimately is going on in this interesting world that the story takes place in. Anyway guys, if you like this reaction, please leave a like and subscribe. Talk to me in the comments about what you thought of the episode, and if you haven't watched past here, share some speculation with me. If you have made it past here, you can feel free to talk about my own speculation, just don't spoil me, okay? Make sure you use your spoiler warnings and spaces if you're going to talk about stuff that has not happened yet, whether it be in the show or in the books. I really appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to do that. Keep us all safe from having things ruined for us. We really appreciate it. Once again, I do now have a Patreon. If you feel inclined to help support the channel further, uh, please head on over there. There are no tiers. Just pay what you feel like. And any bit helps. It really does. Um, helps keep the lights on. Helps keep my belly full. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't really need it, but I, I do. It, it gets very very rally sometimes but anyway guys i do really appreciate you just watching and subscribing and everything else too that really helps and i mean if you can't help out financially that's fine do not feel guilty about it it is not required uh you know liking these videos does a lot sharing these videos does a lot 
watching the videos all the way through actually does more than you can possibly imagine. You know, uh, that, that's a big deal for helping these you know videos get more viewership, which helps the channel grow, which does a lot too. So don't feel like you have to go over to Patreon. It's just something that would help. It's not a requirement. I don't want you guys to feel like it's a requirement, okay? But anyway, do your best, as always. You know what I'm about to say. To stay safe and be well. And I'll see you for the next one, guys. Hopefully the new setup didn't jar you too much. Anyway, let me know what you think. Bye-bye. Oh, tight, 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 yeah!